This is WTOP's Ari Ash of WTOP Ticket Buster, and I'm standing right now at the intersection, or just east of the intersection of St. Andrew's Place and Metzorop Road. And as I'm turning around the camera here, we're going to show you an issue with a speed camera in this location. As you're looking forward right now, first thing you see on the right is a speed limit sign that says speed limit 30 miles an hour photo enforced. The cars headed towards the camera are headed east on Metzorot Road. The vehicles traveling away from the camera are headed west on Metzorot Road. So this white car heading away from the camera is going west on Metzorot Road. So let's turn back again, the speed limit sign, speed limit 30, photo enforced. As we head down the road, you're going to notice in a minute or so as we get closer, a speed camera placed on the right-hand side of Metzorot Road. It's actually snapping citations, I believe, on both the west and eastbound side of Metzorot Road. As we take the walk several hundred feet towards a speed camera, which you may or may not see in the distance, the issue appears only to affect drivers in the westbound direction. It does not appear to be affecting drivers in the eastbound direction, as far as speed camera tickets and the signage, it's somewhat confusing. Again, the sign back in the beginning said, speed limit, 30 miles an hour, photo enforced. Keep that in the back of your mind. Cameras, obviously, as you see, are heading towards a speed camera. As you know, under Maryland law, speed cameras don't operate during the weekends. They work Monday through Friday. As we're taking this video here, it's a weekend, so that camera's not actually taking pictures right now. But during the week, during the prescribed hours, people are getting tickets from this camera. This camera is supposed to be protecting the school, which is a side issue, which is uh, one that AAA Mid-Atlantic has brought up and one we're not directly addressi addressing in the story. Under Maryland law, these cameras are supposed to be within a half a mile of the school zone to protect the school. Now, one of the questions we're going to also have to bring up here is I really haven't seen too many school zone signs. They're supposed to have signs that say beginning of school zone, end of school zone. I haven't really seen any around here. The camera's supposed to be in the middle, beginning of school zone, end of school zone sign. I haven't really seen any of those signs around here. But for the purposes of this story, that's not exactly the, the direct focus. Uh, one we'll have to look at in the future. Anyways, we're getting a little bit closer now to the camera. Obviously, you can see that on the right-hand side. It's one of these big mammoth cameras next to its uh, pole with this deer sign. This uh, camera, one of these big ones going up in the air, you've probably seen them before in Prince George's County, one of the uh, opto traffic cameras. And as we go past this pole here, you can see as we pan up here that it looks like these cameras are taking pictures in both directions. The camera facing towards us right now, taking pictures of people east on Metzorot Road, the camera facing away from the, the video here, taking pictures of people west on Metzorot Road. The question is the westbound side of Metzorot Road. So as we take a step back here, you'll see the issue in a second as we back up, as we pan out a little bit. Perhaps you can see it in the distance. So on the right side, you see the bottom of the speed camera with the sign in front of it, uh, snapping pictures of people going in both directions. In the middle of the screen, you see the University of Maryland sign, which is uh, a side issue that we'll, we'll get into at a later date. But on the far left-hand side, you may see in the distance there a, a sign, which is really, you know, the third pole down here, the key issue that we're talking about, three poles down. Speed limit, it says, speed limit, 40 miles an hour, photo enforced. As you remember, at the beginning of this video, it said speed limit, 30 miles an hour, photo enforced. Down there, it says speed limit, within eyesight of drivers of the speed camera, speed limit, 40 miles an hour, photo enforced. So it's causing a lot of confusion among drivers. The problem is that we're getting a number of tickets, a number of calls, a number of emails to WTOB Ticket Buster. People getting sighted from this speed camera here heading westbound, heading 12 miles an hour over the 30 mile an hour speed limit, being sighted at 42. But drivers are telling us we can see that sign right in front of us. It says speed limit 40 miles per hour. So where does the speed limit 
going up to 40 miles an hour, we're confused. We don't understand why we're getting tickets at 42. Either that sign needs to be moved or there needs to be consistent speed on this very small stretch of Metzorot Road. So to give you an idea of how close they are, we're going to move closer to the camera, move past the camera. Speed camera number 33. We're going to get a shot of the road itself. We'll see the cars going by. So that's the speed limit the camera on the right. We'll take a little walk here and see what it's like. Again, not really too far away. One of the side issues that we're not going to directly uh, get involved here um, for, for the ticket buster we're working on right now is an issue that's been raised by AAA Man Atlantic the last couple of years. Uh, one that may come up again in the future is the issue of uh, school zones. Under Maryland law, as we said before, these cameras are supposed to protect school zones. They're supposed to be within a half a mile of an officially designated school zone. It was traditionally thought to be K through 12, but the law does prescribe uh, for Prince George's County Institutes of Higher Education, so covering colleges like the University of Maryland. But the issue here is this particular uh, place. It says University System in Maryland, as you can see, the Wilson H. Elkins building, apparently the one that this camera is protecting. Uh, these, this Elkins building is being described as AAA as an administrative building, one that students don't actually go to, so it doesn't really qualify as a school zone because it's not really protecting students. Students don't go to this building. So that's the issue that they're claiming, and, and one we will tackle maybe another day. Anyways, as we're walking closer now to the 40 mile an hour speed limit sign, you can see much more clearly the signage issue. Uh, this is uh, the sign that's pretty easy to see as you pass the speed camera. And I would estimate it's probably no more 100, 150, maybe 200 feet at most um, from the camera. It's much closer than the 30 mile an hour sign was to the camera. So as you can see again, speed limit, 40 miles an hour photo in forest. I'm going to turn around right when we get to the sign here so you can see really how not far it is from the camera. So I turn around here and you could probably see that speed camera out in the distance. It's not that far away. It's right there, well within sight, right there on the left-hand side of the road. Drivers that are coming westbound on Metzorot Road. Hopefully we'll see a, come, a couple coming in this direction as we film this video. Uh, there's the 30 mile an hour sign at the beginning down towards that green light down there. They, they see 30 miles an hour. They're driving down the road. They approach this camera. And within that span between the camera and this sign, it switches to 40. So you can see a, a vehicle headed towards here, headed towards our camera. And this vehicle passes the camera. And then these two vehicles pass us and you could see it's really not that far away and they could clearly see a speed limit sign that says 40 miles an hour so again we're getting calls emails other communication from drivers driving westbound here on Metzorod road getting tickets from that camera claiming that they're going over the speed limit by 12 miles an hour to 42 miles an hour and they're saying wait a second i saw that 30 mile an hour sign all the way down by that light down there all the way down in that distance there, St. Andrew's Place and Metzorot Road. But as I come to this camera, I can clearly see on the right-hand side of the road. And before I pan around, we'll let this car come into view just so you can see again how far, or in this case not far, the sign is from the speed camera. So you see this red vehicle, this driver slowly coming this way, and it's really not that far. Anyway, so you pass that camera. And again, as they pass that camera, they see the sign, clear as day, speed limit, 40 miles an hour, photo enforced. And all of a sudden, they get in the mail a notice saying that they were speeding and that they were going 42 miles an hour. And clearly, that's very, very confusing for a lot of these drivers, and that's why they're contacting us. Now, once again, this only really affects people in the westbound direction. I'm going to... Uh, one of the other interesting things you see as I turn around... Literally at the pole itself, we're turning around traffic in the eastbound span. There's a sign that says speed limit 30 miles an hour, photo enforced. So right hand side, eastbound traffic, people are seeing a sign that says 30 miles an hour. And then directly across the street, westbound traffic, a sign, as you can see the back of it, speed limit 40 miles an hour. Very confusing for drivers. 
and an issue we want to get answers to at WTOP Ticket Busters from the City College Park authorities, because this is within the City of College Park Municipal Corporation. Questions that need to be answered from them. Prince George's County Police, again, City of College Park Police. Prince George's County Department of Public Works and Transportation, and the Municipal Liaison for County Executive for Sharon Baker, because clear as day for the drivers on the westbound side of the road, it is very confusing. It's not all that confusing on the eastbound side where it says 30 miles an hour. There are no other signs other than 30 miles an hour. It's just the people headed westbound. Eastbound, you have that sign saying 30, the speed camera out and the distance for them on the left. There's really not much of a case if you're headed eastbound and get a ticket going 42. That's fine. I understand that. But it's the people headed west, headed towards the camera right now, that certainly have an interesting issue and an interesting claim that we want to get answers to.